What is up guys, today I'm going to be simming the career of the greatest NFL player to ever exist. Now in order for me to accomplish this, I am going to have to make a player with 99 overall attributes and of course I'm going to make him a quarterback because quarterbacks are more likely going to win MVP and let's just get straight into this video guys. As always, I hope you enjoy, like, and subscribe. Alright guys, here is going to be our player. His name is Ding Dong and... He plays for the Dolphins, okay? He's going to be a quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. Now, the team was randomized, but I did that on my phone, and I'm trust me, I'm never going to try to record something on my phone again. It is impossible to get over to my computer. I don't know why. But here is all of his equipment, if you guys really wanted to look at that. Of course, what we're all here for is his ratings. He is going to be going into the league as a rookie, all 99 overall. And this is definitely going to be interesting. He's got a six-year contract to start it off. Of course, he does. This is going to be the greatest player to ever exist, and it shouldn't even be close. Hey guys, before we officially start this NFL career sim, I just want to let you guys know that 86% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. I put a lot of time and effort into this, especially editing it to make sure that it was less than 30 minutes, so then you guys didn't have to spend all of that time watching it. It's completely free. As always, enjoy the video. Alright guys, here we are in the league officially. 83 overall defense, 84 overall team, and if we just look at this real quick, this roster... It, it looks really good for what he's got. He's got two really great wide receivers, and let's just get straight to simming. All right, guys, here we are at the end of year one, and they are going to be playing the Titans in the wild card round. Let's go over to his stats. If we're looking at this with his yards, he's got 4,924. He had 35 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. He had a 108 passer rating. For his rushing yards, he only got a little less than 300, which isn't too impressive considering he's 99 overall, literally everything. Tua did get some snaps for him, not a whole lot. Which makes sense because this guy is actually insane. Now, Tom Brady threw for 5,440 yards and Josh Allen threw for 5,300. Joe Burrow threw for a little over 5,000. And of course, our player Ding Dong was just right under that. As a rookie, that's really solid. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's pretty remarkable how good some of these guys did this year. And even our player, he did really good also, but let's just keep going. All right, guys, like I said, we are going to be playing the Titans here. Let's get straight to simming and see if they win the wild card round. All right, so first year, they got beat 26-7. to So not the best start to his career. I mean, it, it was a really solid start. Obviously, they made the playoffs and did pretty good, but they didn't make anything out of it. They lose first round. Here is the MVP awards. Lamar Jackson did win MVP. If we check here, Ding Dong actually did come seventh as a rookie, which is pretty impressive. Uh, coach of the year, I don't really care about, but I'm assuming yeah, offensive rookie of the year, I would imagine. Offensive player of the year, he wasn't even top 10, which is somewhat concerning. Offensive rookie of the year, though, what? He got beat by George Pickens. How? How did he get beat by George Pickens? He came 7th for best quarterback in the AFC. Okay, I think he was snubbed of offensive rookie of the year. I'm just going to say that now. All right, guys, here we go. It is the next season, and he is back to the playoffs. They're going to be taking on the 9-8 and eight Chargers in the very first round. This team is at an 88 overall for offense, an 86 overall like as a team. They went 13-4. and four. This is a really solid team. They could definitely make it to the Super Bowl. Ding Dong is looking pretty impressive to start off his career. Here he goes for his season stats, 5,167 yards. Uh, 46 touchdowns to only 14 interceptions, 69 completion percentage, that's um, that's pretty solid, uh, 113 passer rating, and he just looks good, I mean, he looks amazing, he looks like how he should look, he is a 99 overall, literally everything, also the Colt, or the Falcons got a rookie quarterback that didn't do that bad, Patrick Mahomes did beat him for passing yards, I don't know what to think for his MVP, I don't know if he's going to win it, or if he's going to even be close, he might not even be close for all I know, because it all depends on how the rest of the league does. But he should do pretty solid. He should be up there for MVP voting. And if he's not, then he just simply got s snubbed. But we're going to see here in a second. Let's check it out. Before that, we do have to play the Bengals in the second round because they did win. All right, guys, another win. This team is in the AFC Conference Championship going up against division rival Buffalo Bills. And here are the MVP voting. Ding Dong did come in fourth. It I mean, I don't really know what else to say. Lamar Jackson's just been a beast. Two years in a row, he won MVP, and he's not even on the Offensive Player of the Year. All right, guys, this is year three. They are back in the playoffs. They're going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers in round one. They did finish 12-5, and five, but let's go check out his stats. 
Here looking at his stats, 4,138 passing yards, 32 touchdowns, and a 101 passer rating. That's not bad. If we look here at the annual awards, for MVP, he actually wasn't even top 10. Lamar Jackson's in Detroit, by the way, which is interesting enough, but uh, Kadarius Tony was also up there for Offensive Player of the Year. That's definitely possible. Tyler Boyd is on the Chiefs now. Yeah, definitely some interesting stuff is happening. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, should I make a series or a video where I sim like 10 years into the future of the NFL and see where it's at? Because I think that would be a pretty cool video. You guys let me know if I should do that. Ding Dong did come 7th for best quarterback. Geno Smith actually won on the NFC side, but uh, that's not our problem. All right, guys, year 2025, the team does lose to the Titans in the wild card round. Let's go look at the awards. All right, looking here at the awards, Joe Burrow did win MVP. Ding Dong was runner up for MVP, so he was that close, but Joe Burrow did beat him out. It is what it is. Uh, he did come second for best quarterback in the AFC, also getting beat by Joe Burrow. And I think it said it was 8th for Offensive Player of the Year. So, that's what he finishes out for the awards. He's still doing pretty solid. And uh, he is a 99 everything. So, he should be doing good, honestly. Alright, guys. In the next season, the team did make the playoffs again. Which, I don't know how. Because they went 8-9. and nine, And they won the division. So, they're hosting a home playoff game at 8-9. and nine. Ding Dong did finish with uh, a pretty solid season. Whoa. Before we look at him... Jared Goff had over 5,000 passing yards, 29 touchdowns, and 14 interceptions for the Buccaneers. He's 31 years old now, 10 years of experience, still normal development, 76 overall. Okay, I, I just needed to see that because that threw me way off. To a tag of Iloa, let me go down here and see that. The Vikings have him now, and he had a pretty solid year. And yeah, that's, that's what we're looking at for the season. Not a great year for Ding Dong. If we look at the playoffs, the team did win the first round somehow at 8-9. and nine, And then they did lose to the Titans after that. So they will not be going to the Super Bowl this year. Another year of disappointment. If we look at the awards here, Joe Burrow does win MVP once again. And Ding Dong isn't even top 10 somehow. He's nowhere to be seen on Offensive Player of the Year. Yeah, just not a very good season for him or the team. The team once again did make the playoffs. They went 12-5 and five this year. And they're going to be taking on the 10-7 Chargers to start off the postseason. And this should definitely be a good game. So I did want to check the transaction log to see if they did re-sign him. And they did. They re-signed him to a 7-year, $358 million contract. So he's going to be playing for the Dolphins for at least 7 more years. And that is a huge contract signing for him. He just got paid. If we look here, they did lose to the Chargers in the first round of the playoffs, though. Another disappointment. Joe Burrow wins another MVP somehow. Ding Dong ends up fourth. He still hasn't won an MVP. If we look at Offensive Player of the Year, he did not even get top 10. And for best quarterback, he got fourth. The next season, the 12 and 5 Dolphins are taking on the 10 and 7 Bills. If we look at his season stats, he did break that 5,000 passing yards mark. And uh, it actually looked like he did pretty solid for his touchdowns and rating. But first, I do want to check for a uh, passing touchdown record. He actually was pretty close. He threw for 50 passing touchdowns this year. And he was very close to the record of 55. So that's just beyond impressive. I mean, what is this, year 4 or 5 or something? 6 maybe? I don't know. I lost track of which year it is. You guys let me know in the comments which year it was when he uh, got 50 passing touchdowns. But another great year. And they lost. They lost to the Bills 20-14, to another disappointment of a playoff season. 91 overall offense and still not good enough to get it to the Super Bowl. I don't know what this team is, but they are a disappointment every single year. Finally, Ding Dong has himself an MVP award. He beats out Patrick Mahomes. He beats out Joe Burrow. He beats everybody out, and he is going to win the MVP. This is his very first one. I bet he's going to have a lot more just because he's still pretty young. Actually, his teammate, David Green, won Offensive Player of the Year for the AFC. He got third, by the way. Ding Dong got third. Best quarterback, obviously. I am looking at this team, and this team is absolutely loaded. They got an older Tyreek Hill, but he's an, still a 94 overall. I mean, he's probably so fast. They got 98 overall Jalen Waddle and 91 overall Green, who just won Offensive Player of the Year. This team is stacked. Even that offensive line is crazy. This team is crazy. All right, guys, it's the next season, and the Dolphins are going to be taking on the Denver Broncos in the wild card round. If we look at his season stats, definitely not nearly as good as it was last year, but still not a horrible season. He had 4,600 yards, uh, 37 touchdowns, only 6 interceptions, 68 completion percentage, and a 115 passer rating. Compare that to the rest of the league. Somehow, Mac Jones had 5,300 passing yards, uh, and the Bills have a new quarterback. 
Josh Allen is not the quarterback of the Bills anymore. That's interesting enough, and I'm wondering which team he plays for. But I don't care that much. Once again, we're looking at Ding Dong, the 99 overall elite player. The Dolphins won, so they will be taking on the Browns in the next round. They also made it to the AFC Conference Championship, where they were taking on the 14-3 and Las Vegas Char or Chargers, geez, the Raiders. They're taking on the Raiders in the AFC Conference. If we look at the MVP here, Lamar Jackson with the Detroit Lions does win another MVP. Somehow Ding Dong was ninth, which he actually didn't have that great of a season, so it kind of makes sense. For Offensive Player of the Year, he was also ninth. And best quarterback, uh, he was fourth. So another decently solid season for awards. Not the best. Here we are. They are 10 and 7, and they did not make the playoffs this year. I don't know how, but they managed to not make the playoffs at 10 and 7. Pretty bizarre. If we look at his season stats, 4,700 yards, 31 passing touchdowns, and uh, 15 interceptions. If we look here at the MVP voting, Tony Carter of the Eagles wins. Justin Fields was second. Ding Dong wasn't even top 10 this year. Uh, if we look at Offensive Player of the Year, he wasn't even top 10 on that either. Uh, Brees Hall, Najee Harris, George Pickens all beat him out, I guess. Um, okay, I guess. I don't know. Best quarterback, he finishes not top 10. After probably his worst season, they didn't end up making the playoffs or a rematch against the Raiders. They went 9-8 and eight and barely made the playoffs. But this should be a rematch of the AFC Conference Championship. Should be good. Looking at his stats, 5,200 yards, 43 passing touchdowns and a 111 passer rating yeah he he definitely proved himself this year for sure all right they were able to pull off the win against the raiders in the first round and they are going to be taking on the tennessee titans in the division round it's always the titans and the raiders i feel like i don't know why also the lions got a first round buy that's pretty crazy considering their playoff success is not that good and they lost i just wanted to just take a second and point out the fact that the lions are playing the titans in the super bowl but first, MVP, Ding Dong. That's his second MVP of the series, or the video, I should say. Uh, that's pretty impressive that he's got two MVPs, but definitely kind of struggling in a way. I don't know. The next season, they are playing the Chargers in the first round of the playoffs. 5,300 passing yards, 42 touchdowns, a 121 passer rating. Very solid season again. All right, once again, this team loses to the Chargers in the playoffs, and they are bounced round one ding dong is named mvp that's a back-to-back -back mvp championship award for him i don't know why i said championship but that's a back-to-back -back mvp award for ding dong very solid he has done really good the past couple years and uh hopefully he just continues his success i just wanted to stop and check the legacy board to see if he's on it and he's actually top five already he hasn't been in the league too long and he's already top five so he definitely should be able to get that number one spot 45,000 by Patrick Mahomes right now that'll definitely change over time he's definitely gonna move up and the other guys will also move up like Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes will probably also move up on the legacy board so don't count that out he definitely is not guaranteed to win or be at the top at the end of his career but we should see definitely should be interesting he got 9,000 legacy points this year so yeah, definitely improving a lot. All right, and the team didn't even make the playoffs this year. So 5,400 yards and 41 touchdowns this year. All right, guys, Ding Dong was named NFL MVP once again. This is his three-peat. He is on three MVPs in a row. That's pretty impressive. Evan Branson got second at a 15-4 and four record with the Rams. How did they win that many games? Also, I think Josh Allen's with the Chargers, by the way. Uh, that's interesting. Ding Dong did come third in Offensive Player of the Year with his teammate Jalen Waddle getting second. Greg Rousseau is with the Broncos now, and also this game loves Greg Rousseau. They always make him so good, and yeah, I don't know what else to say. I don't know why they always make him so good, but anyways, another MVP. That's a three-peat. They are taking on the Jets in the wild card round. 5,100 passing yards, 39 touchdowns, and a 109 passer rating this year for Ding Dong. Is that good enough to get him a quadruple? All right, they were able to get the win, so they are taking on the Titans in the divisional round. They lost, so they are not going to be continuing on. Patrick Mahomes just beats out Ding Dong to stop the quadruple MVP. Wow, that's crazy. He just stopped him, man. So he gets second place. He gets runner-up for MVP. That has got to be annoying. He almost went for a quad peat. And that is pretty crazy. That That's pretty impressive, honestly, even getting second. He also got second for Office Player of the Year, which I think is the highest he's gotten for that award. I don't know. All right, guys, I just want to look at this real quick, the season recap cap, because the Lions won the Super Bowl 42-7. to And I'm a Lions fan, so I just got to see this. 
Timmy Murphy, their quarterback, won MVP. So I guess they get a, a Hall of Fame quarterback. Not Hall of Fame, but like an MVP uh, quarterback. Also, Aiden Hutchinson got Defensive Player of the Year, so that will also help. 42-7 to is crazy, though. All right, guys, I just wanted to check his uh, current contract, and he's got two years left on his contract. All right, guys, it is the next season, and the Dolphins, once again, didn't make the playoffs. They're once again playing the Titans. I feel like the Titans, Chargers, and Raiders have been the only teams they have played in the playoffs. I mean, they got the Steelers one time. They got the Bills once, or a few times at least. But I feel like it's only these guys that they've been playing. They also got the Jets, now that I think of it. But, yeah, like I said, these are literally the only teams that they are meeting in the playoffs, and it's kind of getting repetitive, if I'm being honest. The team's overall is also dropping, if you guys didn't notice. So, some guys have to be retiring. 4,700 passing yards, 43 touchdowns, and a passer rating of 106 for the season. And the Titans beat us again. Alright, so Tony Carter did win MVP just beating out Ding Dong. That is a second time he's gotten runner-up. If he didn't get runner-up twice, he would actually have six MVPs, I think. Best quarterback, he did win that award for the AFC. Finally, a different team. They are playing the Colts in the first. 4,500 passing yards, 39 touchdowns, and a passer rating of 110 for Ding Dong. The team was able to beat the Colts in the first round, and they were playing the Texans in the second round. See, now this is what I like to see. These are definitely new teams. We have not seen them play in the playoffs. We have seen way too many Titans, way too many Raiders, way too many Chargers, and I'm tired of it. So we're finally getting a new team. Also, the defense is decreasing every single year, and it's not even, like, like it's, just, it's bad, honestly. 79 overall defense now. 85 offense still, but that's probably just being carried by Ding Dong with a 99. So, yeah, this is... I don't know. This team's getting worse. And the Houston Texans eliminated us. Oh my. Oh my. All right. So for MVP, our guy Ding Dong got seventh. So Timmy Murphy also got sixth. And he won the MVP with the Lions. Now I think of it. Uh, Offensive player of the year, ninth. And uh, quarterback of the year, he got first. Once again, they're playing the Chargers. 5,000 passing yards, 39 touchdowns, and a 107 passer rating for Ding Dong. In the season, he also only had 13 interceptions, which isn't bad. They did win, so they were playing the Bengals in the second round. Another win, and they are playing the Raiders in the conference championship. Let's see if we can finally get a Super Bowl appearance. This is probably the worst team Ding Dong has had, and they are in the Super Bowl somehow, playing the 15-2 Commanders. For MVP, it was Tony Carter once again. That's got to be like, I don't know how many. Uh, but Ding Dong was up there. Joe Burrow also plays for the Raiders now. Ding Dong got ninth for Offensive Player of the Year. Best quarterback. He got, um, not seven. Okay, I don't know what I just said. Don't mind that. But here we are with the uh, Super Bowl. So we got the Commanders. We are facing the Washington Commanders in the Super Bowl. There is our guy, Ding Dong. We haven't seen him play yet. So we're finally going to get to see a little bit of gameplay. The only way I was showing any gameplay was if they would made the Super Bowl. And they did. So we're finally going to get to see some. Now, this Commanders team is 15-2. and two. It would be really disappointing if they don't pull off the Super Bowl win here for our, our guy. But at the end of the day, this Commanders team is clearly uh, probably the best team in the league with 15-2 record. I mean, not a lot of teams can do that. All right, here we go, guys. We have two minutes left in the game. We got Ding Dong playing here, and this is a 10-point game. So we got to see the best of him. I'm, I'm playing right now. I'm scrambling to the left side. There's really nowhere to go for me. I got to throw it away. All right, guys, here we go on a second and 10. There was nowhere to go on that first down play. I'm looking triangle here. How did he reach there? I don't know. I don't know how he reached that, honestly. We're going to have to pick another play. We're going to have to cook up here. It is third and 10. I really don't know if we have a chance to win this game at this point. It's already a 10-point game. Let's look. I'm going over. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Fourth down and 10. We have to cook up some straight heat because it is not looking good we have all three timeouts we need to score and then use our timeouts and get the ball back and score again but we have to get this here i'm scrambling to the left i'm trying to get there how is he, how is that edge so fast what all right we lost <sighs> we finally got to the super bowl guys and we lost it this commander's team is so loaded though like i don't know how they're so good i don't know how that edge rusher was so fast to get me on the edge when i'm in 99 everything also i almost died mason is the quarterback for the commanders and they just got the better of us all right guys it is the next season we are going to be taking on the cincinnati Bengals here in the wild card round 
trying to go back to back Super Bowls. Let's see. 5,100 yards exactly for Ding Dong, 43 passing touchdowns, and a 120 passer rating. And it's a really solid season, honestly. All right, the Bengals did beat us, so we are not going to be going back to back Super Bowls. Ding Dong is crowned another MVP. I'm pretty positive that is five now. He also had a teammate get Offensive Player of the Year, so uh, yeah, just this team is looking good, I guess. All right, guys, it is the next year, and the Miami Dolphins are once again in the playoffs. They're going to be taking on the Houston Texans, who are 8 and 9, and they have a playoff spot somehow. I don't know. Don't ask me. Anyways, let's see if we can get a win. 4,900 passing yards, 43 touchdowns, and a 116 passer rating for our player. All right, the Houston Texans once again eliminate us from the playoffs. For the MVP awards, Ding Dong is third time runner up, which would actually make it, I think, nine MVPs if he would have won those, which is just absolutely ridiculous, by the way. But he's not going to get it, he gets runner up. The team went 3 and 14. Yeah, definitely a rough season. 4,600 passing yards, 33 touchdowns, and a 95 pass rating. Yeah, let, let's just look back on this season and never remember it. If we look here at the MVP awards, uh, he's not top 10, which is not surprising. This was a tough season. He definitely was, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain this here. 3-14 and 14 is ridiculous. The team just did bad. All right, guys, he is no longer a superstar X Factor. I just want to point that out, but I want to look at his contract. He's got one more year left. He also did not win any of the awards. All right, guys, I want to check free agency to see if maybe he is on a new team, and it looks like he is. He is. Ding Dong has officially changed teams. He's officially a Las Vegas Raider. Now, uh, if you can't beat him, join him, I guess, because the Raiders always had our number in the playoffs, except for the one year. We did beat him to go into the Super Bowl. He's now 40 years old, and he signed a one-year $22 million contract, $28 million in signing bonus. Jeez, that is insane. So he's no longer a Miami Dolphin. He is officially a Las Vegas Raider. I guess, like I said, if he, if he couldn't beat him, I guess he's joining them. So let's see how his career <laughs> folds. Let's see how his career unfolds with the Raiders. All right, guys, I did want to come over to the Legacy Leaderboard real quick to check it out, and he is first now. So he did barely pass Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow also, I don't think, had any Super Bowls. Uh, of course, Tom Brady, seven. Patrick Mahomes had none. But 23 yearly awards for Ding Dong. That is absolutely absurd. He is just a master at winning awards. Now, his team's success was not there. They won one AFC championship. I mean, he couldn't make it multiple. He still got his career with the Raiders. I don't know how long that's going to last because he's only 40 years old. So I can only imagine it's not going to last very long. But I guess we will see. Let's keep this going, I guess. We are playing the Chargers in the first round. 5,100 yards, 37 passing touchdowns, and a 108 passer rating here for Ding Dong. He only had 11 interceptions, which isn't a whole lot. All right, guys, they did beat the Chargers. So we are moving on to play the Ravens in the second round round of the playoffs and they are eliminated we got eliminated by the ravens in the second round so no super bowl if we look at the mvp awards it did not go to ding dong he actually ended up getting fifth for the mvp awards which at the age of 40 is still really impressive i just want to point that out so don't act like this dude just sucks all right guys this is the moment of truth we are checking out the retirement uh we just gotta scroll down for a little bit and see if he he is he did he retired after 21 years Every single year since he turned like 37, I've been checking on the retirements and he's never been on it. But finally, Ding Dong is retiring from the NFL. So if we look at the legacy board, he did finish first at the end of his career. Overall, completely, by the way, it's not just uh, not just quarterbacks that he finished first in. He finished first for literally everybody. He won 24 yearly awards, an AFC championship, and there's just nothing else to say this dude was remarkable with yearly awards i think it was six total mvps he won he got runner up three other times so he was on pace or like close to winning nine mvps in his career which is just crazy i i, I honestly don't know what the record is for most mvps won but he had to have broken it there's just literally no other way that like he didn't because that is crazy it, it's, it's crazy six of them is crazy all right if we look at this he finished his career and he retired as a 99 overall with 99 for everything though he didn't even regress this dude literally just did not regress this dude was immune to being bad at football he I, I just i don't know what else to say this dude was insane now if we do go check over uh and all of these tabs 
Obviously, his motivations don't matter. His superstar abilities are gone. But uh, he did finish with superstar. He was at star for a little bit. If we look over here at his career stats, we can look through every single season and see which season was his best. If we look at pass rating, his best season was 2032 with the Miami Dolphins at a 121.9 passer rating. He had 5,309 yards that same year. But he was over like 110 passer rating almost like every single career of his career. Well, every single career, of, I don't even know what I just said. Every single season of his career is what I was trying to say. If we look at yards here, though, he was over 5,000 for the majority of them. He did have a few, like, decently bad years. I don't know if he ever was hurt. I couldn't see that. But 50 passing touchdowns in a season, I know it's not a record, and he didn't. I don't even know if he broke any records, but that's still pretty impressive compared to, like, what most players usually get. Because even, like, 40-plus a season is, like, still pretty solid. Uh, now, I don't know. I don't know. But the interceptions weren't bad he had a season where he had a few he had a few over 70 percent completion percentage seasons which is also pretty impressive considering everything but uh rushing the most rushing yards he had was actually his last season for some reason 332 rushing yards now he was never really a rusher i guess even though he literally could have been lamar jackson on steroids because he had 99 everything now i literally made this guy the greatest player to ever exist in his final season um 424 yards for a passing game i don't know why i even looked at that honestly but this is what we wanted to look at the awards afc offense player of the week he got 12 pro bowl appearances he was undrafted obviously because i just threw him on a team but 12 pro bowl appearances that's a lot and there's a lot of pro bowl league leader pass rating five times 2028 mvp 2028 best quarterback 2031 MVP, 2031 Best Quarterback, 2032 MVP, 2033 MVP, 2038 MVP. He also won Best Quarterback in like majority of those years. Obviously, if he won MVP, he's gonna be a Best Quarterback. But yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot of awards that he did win, and it, it, there's just no other way. If you make a guy that's a 99 overall everything, I just want you to let you guys know he's gonna have an insane career no matter what. Honestly. Did he live up to the expectations? Because he's a 99 overall, guys. Like, don't get me wrong. He had an amazing career. But, like, he's a 99 overall. He's supposed to be blowing every single record out of the water, right? I don't know. Either way, he had an amazing career, and that is going to do it all. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys want to see any more, just let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe and like. And, as always, have an amazing day. See you later.